on we are going to discuss about refining process okay so generally extraction of metal from its ores its ore contains some impurities like iron uh, iron oxides other metals non metals etc so uh, removal of these impurities associated with isolated crude metals is called refining process okay so ore containing ore containing some impurities ore containing some impurities what are the impurities unreacted oxides unreacted oxide ore okay non metals non metals and other metals etc so this impurities removal of this impurities associated with the associated with the isolated crude metals isolated isolated crude metal so this process is called refining process okay so unreacted oxides non metals other metals we have to remove from both we get pure metal okay this process is called refining process and then next one is distillation process distillation process in this process only for low boiling volatile metals for low boiling low boiling volatile metals volatile metals okay like zinc and mercury like this metals okay so in this metals heat pandra okay so this metals low boiling water metals heated to evaporate enna seiyano heater heated to evaporate heated to evaporate and then the vapors are condensed vapors are condensed and to form a uh vapors are condensed to to become liquid and that liquid converted to solid by using solidification process okay so when heat is evaporated the vapors are condensed vapors are condensed condensed and solidified and what solidified vapors are condensed and solidify we get pure metal by using distillation process okay and then next process liquidation process next one liquidation process so this process patina to remove the impurity to remove the impurity with the high melting point from metal related with the low melting point for liquidation process high uh, impurities enna irukum high melting point irukum illaya so uh, high melting point high melting point impurity impurities okay so melting point high melting point for impurities metal metal having low melting point low melting point for example for example tin lead mercury and bismuth okay tin lead mercury and bismuth tin melting point patina 904904 kelvin for bismuth 600 kelvin for mercury 245 kelvin okay and bismuth is 545 kelvin okay so for tin 904 bismuth 600 and mercury is uh, 545 kelvin and bismuth is 5 uh, 245 kelvin this 445 kelvin okay do this matters 
This method is converted into fusible liquids. Fusible liquids. Fusible liquids. This fusible liquids is poured on a sloping surface. Sloping surface uh, treat of rivetric furnace. Okay. So this metal have to heat up just above the melting point of the metal in the absence of air. In the absence of air, the metal only melted. Get melted. So molten metal in our go flows down and collected and solidified. We get pure metal. Okay, by using lubrication processes. Okay, so tin, lead, and mercury. This much, these kind of metals. In the cell, lubrication process is done. Pure and normal, and we can do it. Okay, so we get lost in a kind of pure metal. We get pure metal. Okay, so this lubrication process, and then electrolytic refining process. Electrolytic refining process. Electrolytic refining. Electrolytic refining process. Okay. In this process, the crude metal is heated. The crude metal is heated in a electrolysis process by using refining of electrolysis process. The electrolytic cell uh, that this process carried out in electrolytic cell, electrolytic cell. Okay, so this process used as a electrolytic cell. This process carried out in electrolytic cell. Okay, this cell contains an aqueous solution of aqueous solution of salt of metal of interest. Aqua solution of salt of salt of metal of interest. Okay, in this uh, for this electrolytic process, rods of rods of impure metal. Impure metal. Act as a anode. Act as a anode and strip of thin strip of pure metal. Act as a cathode. Thin strip of pure metal. Metal act as a cathode. Okay. So rods of impure metal act as anode and a thin strip of pure metal act as a cathode. Okay, and then um, anode line are there. Impurities are there and also metal of interest are there. So this metal of interest dissolved from anode go to the solution that is electrolyte. Go to the solution. The same amount of metal ions is migrated toward the cathode. Deposited the cathode. We get pure metal. Okay, so impurities are uh, collected as a anode mud. That is, I need to deposit it collected. So uh, collected as a anode mud. Okay, for example, electrolytic reaction of refining process of silver papa. Electrolytic refining process of silver. Name of silver. Electrolytic refining of silver. Okay, in here. So in this uh, silver process, cathode. Cathode is a pure silver. Pure silver. At anode. Anode is a impure silver. Impure silver rods. Impure silver rods. 
and then electrolyte electrolyte yes acidified aqueous solution of silver nitrate acidified aqueous solution solution of silver nitrate okay acidified aqueous solution of silver nitrate so the cathode the pure silver and at anode impure silver rods and the electrolyte is acidified aqueous solution of silver and then when passed the when passing of current through this electrolyte when passing of electrolytes uh, passing of current to this electrolyte what is uh, the reaction cathode liner reaction anode liner okay so reaction of cathode reaction at first time patala anode reaction at anode patala metal ion silver metal silver metal in nerve ag plus loss of one electron loss of one electron and the positively charged silver ion go to the solution go to the solution and then migrate towards the cathode so reaction at cathode reaction at cathode reaction at cathode this positively charged silver ion migrate towards the cathode and migrated towards the cathode and gaining of an electron and silver discharged so silver is positive charged cation is discharged as a silver metal pure silver metal by gaining of one electron so we get pure metal by using electrolytic refining process okay so this is a electrolytic refining process so electrolytic cell carried out this process carried out in electrolytic cell the cell containing salt of metal of interest so the uh, rods of impure metals act as anode and a thin strip of pure metal act as cathode for example the electrolytic refining silver background the cathode is a pure silver and anode is a impure silver rods and electrolyte is acidified aqueous solution of silver nitrate okay and the when passing the electro passing the current through the electrolyte passing through the electrolyte the reaction at anode is a silver the um, silver atom the loss of one electron loss of one electron the positively charged silver ions migrated towards the cathode and get discharged as a silver pure metal pure metal by gaining of one electron okay so this is a electrolytic refining process the next one mon process next one mon process mon process means uh, vapor phase method so long vapor phase method vapor phase method so in this method low volatile metals this method low volatile metal metals in a bond decompose on heating decomposes and decomposes compound further heated the decomposed compound we get pure metals this is a vapor phase method so vapor phase method for example mon uh, process method and von arquet process method okay also mon process method mon process this mon process method what is it in this process um, crude metal is heated crude metal is heated with a uh, carbon monoxide this re reaction is for nickel so this uh, mon process for nickel metal okay nickel crude metal nickel eppadi perichu edukalam adu use panna seriya so the impure metals of nickel impure metals of nickel is treated with a impure metals of 
nickel is treated with a carbon monoxide stream of carbon monoxide so nickel it is this is a impure metal so impure metal is treated with a um, carbon monoxide it is a stream of carbon monoxide is a gas okay to form nickel tetracarbonyl nickel tetra carbonyl complex nickel tetra carbonyl complex is formed and then uh, this uh, yeah, tetra nickel tetra nickel compound further heating further heating okay heat panna enna kadaikum nickel carbon monoxide okay this complex further heating further heating to form this compound decompose split up clear yeah. decompose to nickel and four moles of carbon monoxide and form nickel and four moles of carbon monoxide okay so this is a mon process method heating this is a mon process method so impure nickel is treated with a stream of carbon monoxide to form nickel tetra carbonyl compost tetra carbonyl complex form of is a highly volatile compound is a highly volatile compound the highly volatile compounds of nickel tetra carbonyl further heating to form decomposition to get decomposition to form nickel and tetra carbonyl compound is formed so this is a pure nickel we get pure nickel compound okay this is a mon process okay and then von arkel process one of the process one of the process this is the one of the process okay so for this one of the process like this uh, vapor phase method that is one process they are made of sorry one process this one of the process uh, especially for zirconium and titanium zirconium and titanium so zirconium and titanium can be refined by using the von arkel processes okay so in this method for example titanium okay so titanium impure titanium okay so titanium impure titanium impure titanium is treated with impure titanium is treated with evacuated vessel of with iodine evacuated evacuated vessel vessel with iodine okay evacuated vessel with iodine so i had titan eta idu treat pandrom iodine kuda treat pandrom illaya we get enna kadaikum titanium tetra iodide titanium tetra iodide kadaikum so this is uh, this compound again treated with heated titanium tetroxide we get titanium so in pure titanium uh, uh, react with the evacuator vessel with the iodine okay so in pure titanium is uh, evacuated with iodine to form titanium tetra iodide we get titanium tetra iodide 550 kelvin heating kudukum seriya and then this titanium tetroxide titanium tetroxide passed over on a tungsten filament passed over on a tungsten filament here yeah. tungsten filament tungsten filament okay now this titanium titanium pure metal deposit on the filament deposit on titanium deposit on the filament heating 1800 kelvin kudukum 
thousand eight hundred degree Kelvin. So titanium deposited under Salamanca. Impurities are left behind. Impurities are left behind. Iodine we can use reuse one We can reuse. Iodine we can reuse the so that is titanium passed over your tungsten filament. So titan deposited under filament. We get pure metal that is pure titanium collection by using one arcal process. This process only for zirconium and titanium. Zirconium and titanium metal. Okay. And one mon process. So vapor is of metal mon process means impure nickel is treated with a vapor case of a vapor stream of carbon monoxide at a temperature 350 Kelvin heating with them we get complex of nickel tetra carbonate compounds. So this nickel tetra carbonate compound again heated 460 Kelvin to form pure nickel and carbon monoxide is a volatile. Okay, this is a easily highly volatile compound. So nickel carbonate also highly volatile compounds. Tetra titanium tetra iodide compounds also highly volatile nature. Okay, so thanks for that. Thanks for watching.